make sure everybody can see. Uh, okay, wait a minute now. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay. The only thing, hi. The only thing is my, um, y'all hold on one second. The devil is busy. Let's see. I'm trying to start it. I'm trying to start the, um, my personal Facebook. Everybody else is up except for the pers my personal Facebook. It's just sitting there. Why is it why is it not moving? What is going on? Hold on, y'all. The Lord Jesus. Let me get off Wi-Fi. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Let me try. Let me try. Oh, there it goes. Maybe it was the Wi-Fi. I don't know. But there it goes. All right. What's up, people? How y'all doing this evening? What's going on? Y'all had a good day? I hope so. You should have some fun. What y'all think? Huh? Let's have a little fun, why don't we? Okay? It's just us, you and me. Let's have a little fun. So why don't we make a drink first before we do anything? Okay? Before we before we even get started, good. Why don't we make a beverage? Um, so let me tell you what I'm gonna do. Because I, I don't know about you, but I love a frozen drink, okay? If it comes frozen, I'm like, yo, sign me up, okay? Just because just that's what I like, okay? Hey, man, let's get some ice. Hold on. <laughs> show you what I have and let me grab my super drops because we're going to need those for what we have going on okay so I like I said I love a frozen uh, frozen anything okay what is going on let me fix let me try to fix my um my I don't know my personal Facebook page just seems to like not want to work and um i don't know what to do to fix it so if you're on my personal facebook i just want to apologize i just want to apologize my personal facebook i don't know what's going on right now all right every day is something different okay this is a casamigos cocktail mixer okay that i got from william sonoma don't buy this okay this is horrible okay but since i bought it and i want to use it i'm gonna go and use it i'm gonna doctor it up though all right so if you do buy it you can doctor it up but i'm gonna tell you very honestly um it ain't that good by itself okay between you me and the gate post it's just not that good but you know it's it's a little bit of the sour side to me you know and so we're gonna we're gonna hook it up to make it taste like something okay so this is just a cocktail starter. You can do this pretty much with any cocktail starter, right? But you know what I said? I said, I think we should make a frozen green apple martini, okay? I, I mean, why not? We can do a frozen green apple martini. So I have some sour apple pucker that I'm going to add to uh, the cocktail mix, okay? Now, we done already added two sour elements. We done added the Casamigos, and we done added um, the sour pucker. So, if you like a tart drink, don't do what I'm about to do. I like a more well-rounded drink. So, if you had the simple syrup, this is a great time to put in simple syrup. 
But since I don't have any simple syrup and I have sucra drops, sucralose, S-U-C-R-A, Amazon, okay, Amazon. Uh, you only need a couple drops and it's going to brighten up and sweeten the whole situation, okay? Um, since we're calling it a green apple, I don't know what is going on with my personal Facebook. Let me try to get off of the internet. I mean, off of my Wi-Fi. I don't know what is going on. I have no idea what's happening, y'all. I'm sorry. I literally, I'm not touching nothing. You feel me? I don't know what's going on, Facebook. I don't know what's happening tonight. I'm not doing anything differently, so I'm sorry. But if it's if it's sticking for you or my personal Facebook, head on over to my many other platforms, okay? Okay. Uh, what I was saying? Oh, since we're doing uh, Green Apple... I'm a, oh, no, I'm put this one in first. Look at it. It still said, you know what? Hold on one second. Why don't I just try to reboot the whole thing? Hold, um, Y'all, hold on. I'm going to just try to reboot the whole thing because I, I don't know what the hell is going on with Facebook. It literally, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete. I'm going to reboot the whole thing, okay? Because I, I honestly do not know what is going on. Hold on one second, y'all. Talk amongst yourself for one moment. I'm just going to reboot the phone. Maybe that's going to make a difference. I don't know. Okay? I done tried it on Wi-Fi. Everybody else is on Wi-Fi, right? Y'all on Wi-Fi. You on Wi-Fi. You on Wi-Fi. You on Wi-Fi. You on Wi-Fi. No problem. Okay? I'm trying to use Wi-Fi on this. It's a problem. I don't know. Maybe Apple trying to get me to buy a new 12. 13? Whatever. 12. I'm not buying it. We're going to run this to the thing, and this don't even hold no good charge. But I wish the hell I would go buy a new phone. Okay? We're going to be using this one. All right? So I done rebooted it. I'm going to get back on Wi-Fi. All right? Uh, oh, I probably was on the wrong Wi-Fi. Oh! That probably what was wrong. Oh! Okay. Now let me now let me see. Hold on. Personal Facebook friends. Hold on. I'm finna do it. Here go right here. Go live. I'm back. Let's braise a short rib. Okay. Now we're gonna try to we're gonna try this again. And we're gonna pray that we don't have no problems. Okay. Yeah, my you guys are not my personal Facebook. You guys are my Facebook fan page. So I have two. I have a Facebook fan page. And I have a personal Facebook, okay? So there's two different ones. And I have friends that follow me on both platforms. So you guys are fine. This is my Facebook fan page. No issues over here. But the Facebook personal page was having a couple of issues, okay? Like it's back having issues now. I don't want to say, forget it. Okay, this is vodka, right? But it's apple vodka, okay? And after the day I had, we're going to need a little splash of apple vodka, okay? Just FYI, okay? I got a little bit of absolute lime, okay? So we're going to do a little swig of that. So we have absolute lime for a little bit of a bump. And we have, um, I guess I shouldn't use the word bump. But you know what I mean, okay? <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean, okay? Um... I, I really want to figure this out. Let me get off. Y'all, hold on, hold the line one more time. I bet you, I don't know, child. I don't know. I'm just, if you on face my personal Facebook, I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, let me get the blender. It's not going to worry me tonight, okay? Not tonight. It's not going to worry me, all right? I'm sorry, personal Facebook people. But, you know, the devil is busy. And you know what he do. Come to kill, steal, and destroy our connection. Okay? So, put this on. Give it a go. And I may have to add a little more ice. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to add a little more ice. Because I like mine slushy. So, let me just add a little more ice. Hold on. Here I come. Okay, this is perfect. 
This is perfect. All right, let's give that a go. So this is a green apple frozen martini. I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know. Now you could get yourself a uh, a martini glass, uh, or sh you can get yourself a red solo cup. For all I care, I don't. It don't really matter to me. Okay. What I what I'm mostly concerned about is now look at this. Okay, frozen martini. Okay, green apple frozen martini. The app is updated, FYI. For all the tech support watching me right now, it's, the app is updated, FYI, okay? The truth. You need this. This is the Absolute Juice Apple Edition. If you can find it, all right? If you can find it, you need this in your life, amen? Because this here, it tastes like you're biting right into an apple. Hold on, I'm going to try it one more time and put it on Wi-Fi. I don't know, child. And if it don't work, I'm just going to get off and it's going to be that on that, okay? All right. We should probably uh, make our short ribs. So look, I'm cooking the short ribs on page 171 and 172. So if you have a Bible, better known as your stories from my grandmother's kitchen cookbook, turn it to page 171. We're gonna, we're gonna do a variation. Let me get a straw so I can go to town, hold on. Yes, God. Hmm. Okay. Also, I'd like to draw your attention to page 131. Okay. Page 131 in Everyday Keto. By show of hands, real fast, okay, before we get started, who, uh, does not have a copy of the cookbook. Who does not have a copy of uh, Everyday Keto, Stories from Our Grandmother's Kitchen, or Vegan But With Soul? Put up a one or some. I just want to look in the comments with a, a tinge of judgment in my eye, okay, to see how y'all following me without the, without the book. Y'all are pitiful, okay? Y'all are pitiful. Let's do this. What I want you to do is I'm gonna go and give you the 30% off, okay? I'm gonna go and give you 30% off while we are on this broadcast. Okay, 30% off while we are on this broadcast, all right? Use the code PINEAPPLE, all right? Use the code PINEAPPLE at shopdariuscooks.com and you can save 30%, um, okay? Use the code PINEAPPLE, not apple. Use the code PINEAPPLE and you can save uh, 30%, okay? The code is now active. ShopDariusCooks.com only while we live, okay? Once we done with the live, we done with the code. Okay, now, on page 131 
It has the brown sugar Brussels with bacon. Let me show you what I don't have. Brussels sprouts. But I do have green beans. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I don't have Brussels sprouts. Okay? However, comma, I do have green. You need to make this. I need a line. You need to make this because... It's real good. Okay. Now, I get these green beans that are already washed and prepped. Just because I ain't got time to be sitting around uh, fooling with no green beans. Okay? I Personally, I ain't got time. So, what I'm going to do is just get a bag. And let me see. This is 12 ounces. How much is a pound? Ain't a pound like 16 ounces? Or something? Whatever. Okay, I don't know how much a pound is. I don't think it really matter. But go and put you, let me see, if I weigh it. It's slightly under a pound, okay? <laughs> slightly under a pound for the green beans, okay? Now, the book says, this is Everyday Keto. I'm on page 131. You want a half pound of bacon. Now, this is my kind of vegetable, Okay. Anything that's starred with a half pound of bacon, sign me up for the Christian Jubilee. Okay? Let's put some bacon in there. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know how much a half pound is. I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't think it even matter. Do you? Uh-uh. This, this is about a half pound. Huh? About a half pound. It's going to be a half pound tonight. Okay? So what you want to do, what the book say? Cut into pieces. Okay? So we're going to cut. Make sure y'all can see. We're going to cut the bacon um, into this knife. is horrible. Jesus. We're going to cut the bacon into pieces. Oh, this is better. Okay? And then we're going to throw the bacon on top of here. And the great thing about Brussels sprouts or green beans cooked this way. Now, listen. I'm all for the church green bean. You know, when it's cooked to like it's oblivion and it's cooked uh, all the way down with the salt pork. Now, I, I eat that, okay? Come on. We grew up on that, okay? Green beans, white potatoes. Green beans, white potatoes with the onion. And, you know, back then, I don't know what y'all started doing. Y'all done started doing, um, y'all done started fooling with the turkey. When I was growing up, we had the ham hock, okay? And to this day, I still eat a ham hock, okay? We need some olive oil, all right? The book calls for a tablespoon, okay? You don't need that much because you know what's going to happen is uh, the bacon is going to release its juices and stuff, okay? Now, you do need brown sugar substitute. Or if you got brown sugar, that works too. I just don't have any brown sugar in my house, but I do have a beautiful brown sugar substitute. This is Swerve, okay? Now, Swerve, ain't, they ain't paid me. They ain't gave me no check, all right? So this is a freebie for you, but you can use Swerve. And look, it looks and feels just like regular brown sugar. It's insane. I don't even know how they did this. How y'all did this, Swerve? Huh? Swerve, people. Look, use, add to your favorite favorite food or beverage, bacon, uh, measures like brown sugar, store in a cool, dry place. Okay? How many calories this got? Zero. How much can we eat of this? As much as we want to. Mm. 
Okay? Now, let's add some garlic. Okay? I have some fresh, I have fresh garlic, a couple of cloves. And by a couple, this is like seven. <laughs> Of garlic by a couple, I mean about seven. Okay, <laughs> if, if, if the book say add two cloves of garlic and you only add two, add about ten more, would you please? Okay, now I'm putting this on the microplane, I'm just grating the garlic on the microplane. That keeps me from having to chop it. You know, you can certainly chop down the, the, the garlic if you want to. I'm not going to, but if you wanted to chop, please, by all means, chop, slice, dice, whatever your heart desires, okay? But the book does say, oh, it says eight cloves, eight cloves of garlic mints. I'm going to say, I wrote this. I know I'm not putting two cloves of garlic in nothing, okay? In nothing, as bad as I am, okay? All right, so I'm just grating the garlic. Oh, and do me a favor, quit using that garlic in the jar. The one that's already chopped up and stuff, sitting in water and all that, quit using it. I don't like that. Mm -mm. It ain't the same. You know, oh Lord, it don't have the same sense of um, belonging, okay? I mean, if you got it, go and use it, okay? But do me a favor. Get you some fresh garlic. Ain't nothing like it. It's so good, and it's good for you, Okay? They say the Jamaicans, the Jamaicans, shout out to all the West Indians, the Jamaicans put garlic and honey on a spoon and eat it. Now, I like garlic that much, but I'm doing that, okay? That one's not happening, all right? And the book calls for a pinch of red pepper flakes, you know, because you want the heat and the sweet to sort of go together and make sense, right? So... Um, then it's really simple. All you do, clean hands, toss together your bacon, your garlic, your brown sugar, your olive oil, and your red pepper flakes. That's really it. Okay, and to be honest, give me a old slice of cornbread. And this is a meal all by itself. Okay, see that? Real simple, all right? This is a great way to cook your green beans. And the good thing about it is when the bacon is done, so the green beans, okay? 350 degrees. I'm gonna put this in the oven, okay? Now listen, by way of announcement, let me make this announcement before I get too drunk. I'm doing a cooking series, okay? It's called The Art of Soulful Cooking, all right? Cook with me, virtual. Um, you got four dates to choose from, 11-7, 11-8, 1114 and 1115, okay? Um, we're cooking menus out of all the books, and you get a, a free ebook with the purchase of the class, all right? There's a bundle where you can do all four classes for 125. You get the replay, access to the replay, access to the Facebook group, live QA, the whole shebang, all right? Um, or you can get an individual class for 49 bucks, and you get a copy of the ebook. So to me, it kind of makes sense. If you go to shopdariuscooks.com, you can't use the discount code for this. All right? I know you're going to try. You can't do that, okay? But if you use the discount code, I mean, if you go to shopdariuscooks.com, <laughs> go to shopdariuscooks.com, everything's there, all right? Shopdariuscooks.com, look for the live situation. It's all right there, okay? And if you got my email... Shout out to everybody on my email list, okay? Okay, so we just cooked page, this is page 131 from Everyday Keto. And if you don't have a copy of this, you can get it by going to shopdariuscooks.com, use the code PINEAPPLE at checkout, and then you can save 30%, okay? All right, now let us turn to stories from my grandmother's kitchen and we're going to be, turn your Bibles, we're on page 171 for six hours. 
Wine bread short rib, baby. Huh? Six hour <coughs> wine braid short rib. Now, what I want to do is I have a, this is called a braising pan, okay? It's called a braising pan, all right? Um, this is great for braising chicken. Um, this is great for searing off pork chops. Obviously, uh, it's great for things like oxtails. Anything that has to cook down and stew down for a long period of time, this is fantastic for that, okay? So I got my short ribs, as you can see, all right? These are big boys. But you know, short ribs cook down a little bit. They get, they shrivel up a little bit. So, you know, if you really like short ribs, get you a few more. Or only make this for people you love. Because short ribs cost like mortgage. Play with me, okay? <laughs> Especially short ribs from Publix. Publix don't ever put short ribs on sale, okay? Shopping is a pleasure my ass, okay, Publix? <laughs> Make short ribs cheap again. <laughs> All right, very important. These are big hunks of meat, so you really want to make sure you're seasoning your situations real real good okay so i'm gonna heavily heavily salt short ribs don't you hate getting food that be half season okay that really that really hurts my last nerve so because i like to make sure my food is seasoned you want to put your extra salt on that okay and you can do the same process Hi, come on, vodka. I feel you. Yes, come on. Absolute. Lee. <laughs> Absolutely. What I'm doing? I need some pepper. That's what I need. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the pepper. Let me see. Here goes some right here. I ain't that much of him. Do I have another one? Yep, right here. So I buy the coarse cracked pepper. I buy the coarse cracked pepper from the farmer's market. But I'm going to throw some of the coarse cracked pepper into my pepper mill so I can grind it down. Okay? Hold the line, please. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't have production. I don't have any assistance, okay? If this is a problem for you, cash at me. Dollar sign Darius Cooks, and we'll use your donation to, to um, get a little piece of production intern. That way they can do all this for us, okay? Okay, trying to get the peppercorns in the pepper mill and not on the counter like I'm doing. Oh, I don't put too much in here. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Lord. Now, this one is messing up. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Facebook will not let me be great tonight. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm on both Facebooks are frozen. Both. Both Facebooks are frozen. Facebook will not let me be great. I don't know what I did. Everything's frozen. Everything is frozen. Um, what's you? Periscope is frozen. Facebook is frozen. Both Facebooks are frozen. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Right? Facebook is completely frozen. Like, it's completely like, it just says low network. And like, it's not even Facebook, Periscope. Everything is completely frozen. I don't know, y'all. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I don't know. 
I didn't touch anything. I, I didn't touch anything. I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I, I wish I knew what to do. I wish I knew what to do. Okay? Uh, everything is completely frozen. Only thing that looks like is working. TikTok is working. Um, YouTube is working. Uh, I just took my personal Facebook off of Wi-Fi. It seems to be working. Periscope is for... I don't know. Okay? I don't know. Y'all have any ideas? I mean, and Periscope just died over here. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I love you more. I saw that on in TikTok. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's the vodka they said. Facebook is working now. Yeah, Facebook is working now, but it wasn't working before. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to tell you. I don't know. Maybe we'll, I don't know. Maybe we'll start, I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know, child. I don't know. I ain't touched it. Okay. All right. Into my pan. My pan is getting real hot. All right. I'm going to add some olive oil. Okay. This is, this is a little too hot. Okay, it's a little too hot. Hold on. That's it. Okay, so I'm putting the short ribs in the skillet. Season side down. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is season the other side while these are in here. Okay. Now, I'm going to add more seasoning, all right? Trust me. I'm going to add more seasoning. But right now, um, I'm just going to start with salt and pepper, okay? Now, this is on page uh, 172. Now, I'm searing these off, okay, on page 172. But you don't have to. You could do what the books say do. Okay? In the book. Look, they go, they go, Facebook just messed up again. I don't know. Okay. Oh, let's put the salt and pepper on top of these. Put it with some salt. Okay. And then I'm gonna pepper the other side of those short ribs, okay? Um, I know it keeps freezing, Facebook. I'm not touching it. I didn't do anything. I don't know why it continues to freeze, okay? Okay. Salt and pepper, okay? Now, what I want to do is I just feel like if I'm going to have short ribs, don't we need something for the short ribs to sit on and soak up the sauce? Don't we need something? I think we do too. I think we do too. You could make a potato, but I'm trying to watch my caloric and my my intake, okay? So what I got? Cauliflower. Now, the process for the cauliflower is also in the keto book somewhere. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm tired of looking for it. It's in there, okay? I wrote the book, I know it's in there. So what we gonna do, and we're gonna chop off the green part of the green part of the cauliflower. We don't want that. Okay? And then let me show you what we're gonna do. Alright? 
into a bowl. And then we're gonna florette the cauliflower up. You know, cut it into small pieces, okay? The smaller, the better, okay? I'm gonna change your life, all right? Just understand, I'm getting ready, okay, to change your life. I know you think you don't like cauliflower. I'm literally getting ready to change your life, okay? I know what you're thinking. There he is. I don't know. I don't know. Stay with me and watch how I bless you. Let's rinse this off. All right, rinse this off. And then what I like to do, okay, because I really don't have no time to be boiling no water and all that good stuff. I'm going to take some paper towels and a sip of my drink. All right. I'm going to wet my paper towel and squeeze out the excess moisture. And I'm going to put my damp paper towel over my cauliflower. Okay. Microwave for seven minutes. And you know we don't hit seven zero zero. We hit 30 seconds, 14 times, okay? All right, all you need is seven minutes, okay? And what I need to do is flip my short ribs, okay? you want to see okay let me show you the crust you get on the short rib when you do it this way okay I'm gonna go camera to camera all right but I want you to see the crust that you get okay I want you to see the crust that you get when you do it like this okay this is the crust okay that you get. We can kill this. And then let's go on season up the short rib. Red wine. Okay. Cabernet Sauvignon. Merlot. Uh, whatever you like. Okay. Put that in there. Whatever you like, okay? Then you just need onion, bell pepper, and celery that somebody else chopped, because I didn't chop this. This came out of the grocery store like this, okay? It don't matter who chopped it, just put it in there, okay? It don't even matter. Just put it in there, okay? And then, you know, you can put any combination of vegetables that you like, all right? I'm going to throw in a little piece of garlic. You can put potatoes. You can put, you name it, whatever you want, you can put it in there, okay? I'm going to throw in some garlic, whole cloves, right in there, just like that, okay? And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to season it real fast, okay? Let me season it real quick. So to season it, I got a little pinch of red pepper flake for a little bit of heat, okay? I got a little bit of dry fennel, okay? I got a little bit of onion powder. I got a little bit of garlic powder. Chicken bouillon, okay? This will save your life, amen?
This got the Holy Ghost. This got the Holy Ghost right here, okay? So we're going to put a little bit of that in here. Don't put that much. Well, it's intended to be a little salty, okay? Let me see what I'm missing. I'm missing, uh, that's it, some bay leaves. I don't know, y'all. Uh, y'all know we gonna nestle. We gonna nestle a couple of bay leaves right into our sauce. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's how you do the short ribs. Okay. Now. Let me show you. I'm going to bring them a little closer. I can't bring them that close, but I'm going to bring them up here so you can see. Okay? So this is the short ribs with all the seasoning and whatnot and whatnot hanging out inside of here. Okay? We're going to put a lid on this. All right? And then this goes off in the oven for... Good three, four, five hours, sir. All right. As long as you can muster up, put your short ribs. You could do this in an instant pot too. You could, but I didn't do it. Okay. All right. Now, in the book, look at uh, step number. Let me see. Step number two, okay? Say we need some cornstarch and a little water. Let me find some. Hold on. Hold the line, please. I got some right here. Look at that. All right. We got a little piece of cornstarch. Oh, by the way, I'm cooking out of stories from my grandmother's kitchen. All right. You can get it today by going to shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code pineapple at checkout and you can save 30% right now, okay? Only to the live is over with, that's it, that's all, all right? All right, and then we're gonna figure out, you know what I did buy off Amazon Prime? I bought a new mesh. Maybe it's my mesh. And you know T-Mobile, they had no problems till they got with Sprint. I was in Vegas, outside, clear sky, nothing. Not a signal, not a signal first, okay? I don't know, I don't know. I just know we didn't have no problems until we fooled around with that dang on Sprint network, okay? No problems to them fooled around with Sprint, all right? You want to put cold water. So I'm doing equal parts water to equal parts cornstarch, okay? So let's just imagine, can we imagine that it's been six hours for our short ribs? Can we do that? Can we imagine? Close your eyes. Oh my gosh, it's been six hours. Look at that. Okay, after six hours, you take your short ribs out of the oven, all right? Okay, and they look like this. They have been braising in that wine and that stock, and they smell stupendous, okay? So then what we do is we take our cornstarch slurry and we throw the cornstarch slurry into um, the short rib, okay? And then what we're going to do, we're going to put the short ribs on low. Low, 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 okay? Put them on low and let that thicken up real good. So we have a nice gravy. Huh? 
Huh? So we have a nice, ain't nothing worse than a short rib with no gravy. I mean, it would piss me off. You understand me? Just make me upset. Please don't make me upset, all right? I don't like that, all right? Uh-oh, careful. Y'all all right? Okay. Okay, the microwave don't went off. And, uh, ooh, it's hot. Okay. Now look at this, okay? This is the way you steam your cauliflower. You see that? Seven minutes is all you need. Perfectly steamed cauliflower. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is put the cauliflower into. Ooh wee! Hey y'all, I'm gonna come back see you in one second. Come on, put the cauliflower right up in here. Okay. That's why you only need seven minutes. Is all you need to really get it going good. And then what I like to do sometimes is I'll have a little pot standing by. Because you can also, once you puree this, you can put this back um, in a little pot and keep it warm. Okay? Or in an in instant pot, slow cooker, you know, hot plate. Whatever y'all... Oh, shit. Whatever y'all... <laughs> whatever y'all got. <laughs> okay? All right, now let's make the best cauliflower puree you ever had in your life. Y'all ready? You need salt. Cauliflower like potatoes, Doc. You need some salt. Okay? You need fresh cracked black pepper. You got to have that, okay? A lot of it. Throw you a little piece of garlic powder in here, okay? Throw you a little piece of garlic powder, all right? Now, one of my all-time favorite ingredients of all time, I said all time twice, is mascarpone cheese. Let me tell you something. I don't know who um, gr Italian grandmama invented mascarpone cheese, but I thank God for them every single day, okay? Mascarpone cheese is like an Italian version of cream cheese, and you use it wherever you would use cream cheese. Man, I gotta tell you, it is so good, okay? It is delicious. Okay, hold on, we need some butter. Amen. A little piece of butter. Now, you don't, don't add that much butter. You don't need that much. Add you a little bit of butter to this. Don't put that much in there. Because sometimes y'all be putting too much butter in your stuff. And then it don't taste right. Just put you a little bit of butter in here. Okay? I'm going to put a lid on and puree it first. Okay? And then if I need a little piece of uh, heavy cream, I'm going to throw it in there. All right. Hold the line, please. Thank you. Hold on. 
It's two little pieces of, of cauliflower giving me the flux. Hold on one second. It's two little pieces. I'm gonna push them down and down. show you what I mean. You take you a little pot, you see? And until you're ready to serve, you take your puree. Your anointed puree. And what we're going to do is we're going to run and we're going to grab all of this up out of here, okay? Let's taste it, because sometimes you gotta put a little more salt, you know? Woo! Woo wee! Okay, all right. All right. I'm put this on low. Before I show you this, let me grab the green beans. Cause they ready. I told you the green beans, you know, once the bacon is cooked, the green beans are ready. Oh. First of all, look at this. I already told you once, literally once the green beans have cooked all the way, I mean the bacon is cooked all the way through, the green beans are ready. Look at that. Come on now. Come on. Play with me. You can put sun-dried tomatoes in this. You can put pecans in this. Okay, this is the perfect way to eat your green beans, okay? I mean, I'm still with the whole boiling them down. You know, I'm with that, okay? But I'm also with this as well, okay? Let that hang out for a little bit. We're going to steal a little piece of... Mm. Mm -hmm. And that, that was in page, what page that was? 130 something? Let me see. 131. It almost looked like it, don't it? See? And hold on, wait a second. Look at it. I mean, it's arranged better in the picture, but you get the idea. Sheet tray, roast stick, very simple. See that? Mm-hmm. I know. And again, you can get the book at shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code pineapple at checkout and go and save you a little money. Okay? Now, these short ribs done cooked up, okay, for how long? We said six hours. Four and some change, you know. If you can go six hours, go and go to six hours, okay? But I want you to see... What happens? I'm just tossing over a little bit. Look at the, the bone that came out of this one. The whole bone done fell out of this one, okay? So I just want you to see. Listen. Okay, listen. Now let me show you how we throw this together, okay? Let me show you how we throw this all together. On my plate, this is my beautiful plate, okay? I'm gonna throw a little bit of the, this lovely puree. And this puree is thick, and luscious, and I'm telling you, if you think you don't like cauliflower and you try it like this, it is downright amazing, okay? So we're gonna do a little bit of the puree on the plate. I could put a little piece of short rib right on top of there, 
rib on top of that. Then I could take a few of my green beans and I could throw a few green beans right on the side with the bacon and the garlic and the brown sugar. Huh? You getting excited? Good, because I am. All right, then I got a little chopped scallion toward the end. See, I'm gonna cut it on the bias. Okay, throw me a little scallion over here. Oh, and then I'm gonna do a finish with a little piece of black pepper. Now listen, don't forget you can grab the book um, shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code. Use the code, um, what's the code? Pineapple. At checkout. And then don't forget, I have a, a cooking class series, a new cooking class series called The Art of Soulful Cooking. We're going to go through um, a few recipes out of each of the books, private class. All the information is at shopdariuscooks.com, okay? $49 a class or you get the bundle for uh, 129, I'm a 125. I'm gonna go camera to camera so you guys can see what this looks like. Okay, so this is camera to camera so that you guys can see on Facebook. Okay, this is camera to camera. What's up, TikTok in the building? Okay, this is uh, Instagram. All right, Instagram. Okay, this is YouTube. What's up, YouTube? How you doing? Okay, this is my personal Facebook page that has been gone to shreds today. Okay, shreds, and then this is Periscope. Okay, it's Periscope. All right, so come on, bow your head so we can say grace, grace, and then oh, look at first of all, look at how tender this short rib is. Can you see this? It literally has fallen off of the bone. Look, hold on, you gotta see this. Look at that. The short rib has fallen off of the bone, okay? Try it out. Mm. Mm. Hold on. You could cut it with a spoon. Look at that. Red wine braised short ribs. Okay. Red wine braised short ribs. Mm. Pardon me. <laughs> One moment, please. One moment. And I'm telling you, it is the puree on the bottom that is perfectly seasoned and catching all of the juice and the gravy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Okay, come on. Let me see these gravy babies. Mmm. Roasted green beans. Let me see. Come on, green man. Uh -huh. Come on, bird king. I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all. You gotta give it a try. Recipes like this. On the website, DariusCooks.tv. Two things I want to tell you. 
as I always do. Huh? Food is my life. Life. Is my food. Until next time. Happy cooking. And drinking. From my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. Why does it taste like this? Mm. Let me see. And you...